Good morning everybody and welcome to my Facebook live this morning. It is Monday the 16th of November. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the UK. It's quite a dull morning at the moment but there's always a bit of promise I think for a Monday morning so I hope everybody's had a nice weekend and um, I look forward to crafting with you this week before I start I actually wanted to share some recent happy mail that arrived through my post box and I always like to share incoming mail with you um, especially in terms of ideas and things like that so let me start with that this is the um, card design that we're going to make this isn't actually stuck down this is something I just literally put together um, so I could photograph it morning Jeanette um, so this is the design of card that we're going to make shortly and I just wanted to start with um, showing you some happy mail so in no particular order, I actually have um, two of these thank you cards. These are actually from Stampin' Up, uh, one in America and one from Germany. And these were sent to me after my recent presentation that I did to the demonstrator base worldwide. And I was lucky enough to be able to present a brand new product that is coming out in January. You'll get to see it in due course. Morning Molly. Let's just put this light on I think. <laughs> um, and so these were thank you cards sent by them. Morning Jill. Um, just to say thank you um, for the effort that I put in etc etc. So that one is from the European team. And then this one is from the lovely Tanner who I worked with, um, who was over in the States. So that was really nice to receive um, two of those directly from Stamping Up. This one here, I received from one of my team members, Marie. She's used that lovely paper, which in fact is the same as um, from this paper stack here that I've got underneath. And this is a pop-up fold card, so it's a bit like a, um, oh, what's the name? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but this tab pulls out and this folds over. And there's a nice little thank you message for her, from her in there as well. So that was from Marie. Then I have this one from Utah. Morning, Tracy. Um, Yuta's another team member and this is one of the new products that you'll be able to see in the new catalogue in January. So you might notice it features dragonflies and these have been punched out with a matching punch and then these papers that go with it are really pretty. They feature dandelions and dragonflies as you can see. And she's done some nice panelling with that. And that was a nice little thank you note from Yuta. And then we have another fab card. I'm liking all these, actually all of these colours go together. Um, and this is using the woods embossing folder behind. Morning Carol. With some leaves and this has been embossed, I don't know if you can see that well enough on there but this has been embossed with a copper embossing powder and a cute little label and that is from the lovely Lynn Eaton another one of my team members so that's fab with all the leaves so she's done some stamping some die cutting some of the outline image and some of the detailed so that's really super and then um, I'm so glad Tracy's here because this is something I received from Tracy. 
this is a gorgeous scissor charm so the idea is you attach it to your scissors so that you can identify yours over anybody else's so particularly useful when we meet as a team let me move these out of the way there we go when we meet as a team and we've all got our scissors together I do have some of mine labelled um, but it just adds a little bit something extra she's got Swarovski crystals in there and a little scissor charm at the end um, so that is so sweet Tracy thank you and Tracy does make these to sell and Tracy Carter is on here so if anybody's interested in one then um, just comment and um, I can pass her details on to you she's got lots of different colors she was very kind and chose my team colors which are basically a layer of blues and a little bag to match so thank you for that Tracy it's greatly appreciated and then finally I received two of these in the mail and these are from my um, lovely upline Michelle Last and each year at the end of the stamping up year she gives out awards to people in her team some of these are voted for by other team members and some are selected directly by Michelle and each of these is accompanied by a little um, bead that goes onto my bracelet that she gave me this has got a little heart in and then this one here it's got some little flowers in and um, the two awards that I won there, there are a lot which was really nice and I was so lucky to win two um, so one as voted for by the Pinkies team was the um, business we most admire um, so that was really stunning because there's a lot of very talented business women and men in our group um, and so it was nice for them to nominate me for the business they most admire and then the other one was selected by Michelle and that is the heart of stamping up so basically um, it's difficult to explain really <laughs> but just being a supportive demonstrator to other people in the team um, looking after my customers building my own team so a sort of all-round um, celebration for want of a better description so absolutely chuffed to receive that one so thank you to Michelle um, who's currently having a bit of a hard time so hopefully she'll catch up with this at some point okay so how about that for happy mail last week my goodness <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that does it <laughs> so thank you to my lovely team um, for sending me those and also Tracy for my lovely scissor charm which is now going to be kept on my scissors um, so I can get rid of this um, horrible bit of <laughs> twine which is one of my ways of um, <laughs> making sure people knew it was mine <laughs> so I'm going to cut that off shortly and I'll have this lovely scissor charm so thank you Tracy okay let's get cracking with today's design so if you joined me on Friday these were the cards that we made so using the beautiful autumn stamp set which I think is really pretty and although I've done it in autumn colours you could easily do these in greens um, and create a very um, nice cards oh thanks Jeanette so we did this one and this one with the thank you using these layered edges so today what I thought I'd do is something like this which is a circular design so I'm not using the stamparatus for a stamping in the round 
because these are little stamps I'm just literally going to stamp around a cut circle these pieces are loose because I've literally just put them on so let me move these out of the way and you can see the actual stamp design here so what I'm going to start with is a piece of very vanilla card I've got some layers here that I can use so early espresso and crumb cake and I've also got early espresso and pumpkin pie so let me show you how I created these so I'm going to start with my very vanilla and what I'm going to do is take post-it note and my two and a quarter inch punch and the top here is where the stickiness of the post-it notes are and you don't want to punch just one or two post-it notes because they're too thin for the punch so you could either put uh, in this case four through or you could just put a piece of card behind and just punch one or two that's going to give me my little mask that I'm going to use for this effect now this is actually slightly smaller than the one I've done here just thought I'd try something slightly different so ignore the lines that are on here we're just using this um, as a way of um, masking off the area to keep this nice and clear so that we can do our stamping around so I do really want to make sure that's more central that looks a bit better so the colour selection I have is bumblebee early espresso soft suede cajun craze but you could easily switch those out for a variety of greens if you wanted i just wanted to use autumnal colors i've also got crumb cake here as well so what i'm going to do is basically stamp around the edge of here so that the center pieces go onto the post-it note everything underneath is protected and I've jo just got this nice border around the edge so I have a selection of stamps these are all from the beautiful autumn stamp set and you'll be pleased to hear that I found the missing acorn piece from Friday. This has also got the pine cone so I'm going to introduce the pine cone into this one and instead of using this outline I'm going to use this small solid image for my leaves. So let's grab the solid image and some crumb cake. So I'm just going to ink this up, I'll just stamp this off to the side or oh, just open my plaster up, actually I'm going to take that off, managed to cut myself quite badly at the weekend. So I'm just going to do some of these around the edge. like so Oops. don't really want to do them too um, too obvious so three like that I think will do nicely. 
then I've got this um, really nice sort of wheat sheaf effect and so let's take bumblebee for that one so I'm just going to ink this up so pretty so you can vary the height of these obviously like so And basically all I'm doing is building up a picture around the edge using the different stamps. So I've got here uh, an oak leaf. So I might do that in soft suede. And as I say, you can choose to do the outlines or the um, main images, it's entirely up to you. This doesn't seem to have much ink on it. So I'm just going to overlap some of these. Oops, like so. Now you can if you want to, having done that, I might think I actually want some more detail for that. So I can come back with my early espresso and add the detail onto that with the detail stamp. Let me just grab that. So all of these um, smaller leaves have an outline and a detail. So this is the detail for the oak leaf. Just turning this around. Sorry, it's a little bit in shadow today. There we go. Like so. Right, uh, let's have a few acorns. Now, obviously what I can do is add some of these going around the edges after. I could add the plain leaves like so okay and these come from a set of three punches that match the three main leaves so we've got the oak leaf the maple or sycamore and then the acorn they also happen to match the papers as well they punch out the um, images from the papers right let's have a look let's have some acorns and then we've got fir cones and maple leaves that we can add in as well. This is the cutest little acorn. So just working my way around. So you can build it up as much as you like, or you can keep it really simple. You can overlay it as well. So don't feel you've got to have it, you know, separated out. If you look at this one here, I overlaid it quite a lot. Okay, so for the acorns, you can, if you want to, um, do the layering. So I've got the little top of the acorn here. That you can cover in. So it's a little bit too dark, never mind. That's the acorn top. Like so. Let's put one on here. And then you could use the um, bottom piece 
with a different colour. So I'll just use a bit of crumb cake and then I'll just add in the fur cones, for example. So the nice thing about this is it doesn't matter if you make a mistake because you could punch out a shape and cover it up. There we go. They are so cute, those acorns. And you can colour those in and cut them out as well. So just by doing a line of them, for example, on a piece of vanilla and then punch them out. Uh, let's add some pine cones. So I hope everybody had a nice weekend. It was certainly lovely weather here on Sunday. I managed to get out with Carol and Lynn, but it was very wet here on Saturday for sure. Um, okay, let's just put one more on there like that, and then I'm just going to add in the maple leaf. I think I'm going to do the solid maple leaf. Or am I? I want to use some Cajun craze. So if you didn't have all these ink pads, but you had our Stampin' Write markers, you could definitely use those for this technique, especially as they're fairly small um, areas. Let's press that down a bit harder. And this could be anything. So although I've chosen autumn leaves, this really could be anything. So this could be little daisies. It could be just other leaves. It could be um, baby items, for example, if you wanted to do something for a newborn. So anything that you could stamp in the round, really. As I say, I'm just freehand stamping this. So when I move this, you'll see I've got that lovely area in the centre, okay, which is going to be for my sentiment. Now you could also stamp and punch out another circle and have that um, higher up, but I wanted to keep this as a single layer. Just pop that back on there because I've got a little gap here and here that I just want to fill in. I'm just going to put that back on there. Like so. And just fill in with a little bit of detail. So let's add another occasion craze leaf in here. And there's another little gap. The other thing you could add to this would be any little dots and things like that to come off the edge. So if I remove that now, you can see the effect is quite um, different when you've got it all um, filled in. So you can do as much or as little. If you think there's odd gaps, you can go back in and add those. So I do think there's a little bit of a gap here. Just want to put something in there. Um, Let's have a little root sheaf, but we'll do that in Cajun craze. There we go. So just, you know, build up your um, picture as you want. You can also see there that I haven't got that in the centre because this is closer to one side. So I will trim that down slightly. So there's a couple of other things you can do. If you look at this one here, I know it's got a larger circle, um, but I've got some coverage here using the ink. And what I did for that, if you saw um, on Friday, is I introduced a new product that's coming out again in January, and this is our blending brushes. 
so this is like a very soft it's like a baby brush very very soft fine bristles and all I've done to this one is just added a bit of ink and brushed it going outwards so what I'm going to do is do that this time with a little bit of crumb cake really nice and subtle so I'm just um, tapping that on the ink pad and I'm just literally going to brush it out now you can do this technique to get like a sunburst or um, yeah sunburst design I only want this quite subtle So if you're some, someone that struggles with daubers or sponges, this could be your lifesaver because it's much um, a much softer finish. Okay, and obviously you can do a lot of swirling if you've got a big area to cover. Let's have a look and see. a little bit light isn't it so what I might introduce is a little bit of the Cajun haze so because I'm going to a dark colour I'm just tapping that in sorry if you can't see that fully on the camera so now I've got a much deeper Color. So I'm just going to literally brush it out. Like so. I don't know if you can see, it's very subtle because I'm keeping it quite light. Obviously, you can make this go as dark as you want. Just add a little bit more. Everybody's very quiet this morning. She thinks. Yeah, oh no. Yes, everybody's very quiet. Perhaps you're all catching up after a busy weekend. Okay, so just adding a little bit more on there for a little bit more definition so you can actually see it. There we go. So that fills that in really nicely. And then finally, ah, oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, I'm going to pop my sentiment in the middle. And I think I'm going to use the same sentiment. Um, so there are some nice sentiments here. Have a beautiful day. Hey there, thank you. Life is better with you. My heart is grateful for you and if I've calculated this right yep that will fit in there so I'm going to use my espresso oh <laughs> that's because you're all watching me that's fine just making sure you're all still there put my finger in the ink just stamp this down here that way okay so I've done that in espresso but you could do it in a deeper color you can do it in Cajun craze terracotta tile woodwork any of those <laughs> thank you Janet. <laughs> so there we have it so what I could do is add these layers in so I've punched out some shapes I've stamped and punched out a few these were left over from um, Friday let's layer this up and then decide what we're going to do so I say really easy and although I've used a circle for this you could actually use um, obviously any shape an oval would also work 
I think it works particularly well with circles. Um, so I'm going to pop that onto there. Now I know it's not quite... Um, shall I trim it? No, I'm going to leave it because if I trim it down it'll... Because this is about right, it's only this one here. And I know that that is square to the card, so I'm not going to trim it in this case. And one of the nice things about this is it is a single layer stamped card. So although I'm layering it up, it um, would be inexpensive to post. I'll make a nice autumn birthday card or just a nice thank you card. So that's early espresso, of course. This is crumb cake. There you are, so you can see a bit more of the Cajun craze here compared to the um, yellow. And if you want to, at this point, you can still go back. So if I wanted to put a little bit more Cajun craze ink on this side, I could go back in. Like so. There we go. So the question is, should I add any 3D? Hi, Louise. Should I add any 3D flowers or shall I leave it as it is? Not flowers, leaves. That's one of my little acorns. What do you think, everybody? Because I've got some here. Leave it as is, says Carol. Okay. Anybody else? That could be the deciding factor. <laughs> I might put it on this one though. Let's see what anybody else thinks. Leave as is. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, and then what I could do is stamp on the inside some of the acorns. So I think I'm going to do two little acorns on the inside and fill those in. So this is early espresso. One here. That's so cute. And one there. And let's fill those in. And that's it. So straightforward. This um, set of stamps is the one that features in my, <coughs> excuse me, my non-Christmas class in a box. So if anybody is interested in that, you can see the designs from my live on Friday. And it's a fancy fun fold car class. So some fun fold cards in there. There we go. And I feel I want to do a tiny leaf, and there is. I know it's not an oak leaf, but that over just want to give that a little leaf on top okay. 
out. I say I know it's not an oak leaf. And then just fill that in. So it's a sweet little set, I have to say. There's my filling. Okay, Jill, thank you. And then that one. There we go. Now I want another leaf. Sorry. But that is it. So some nice simple stamping. Just cut yourself a mask of some kind. So I punched out a circle using our two and a quarter inch circle punch. And I punched that with a post-it note do this one and that's not quite the right shade but it will do there we go so there's our inside that's our outside just a single layer and then this one was my um, practice one that I designed um, briefly last night so I'm going to layer this one up as well. This is on pumpkin pie. And what I'll probably do is punch out some pumpkin pie pieces to bring that all in together. So there we are. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'll be back tomorrow at 5pm. So I hope you can join me then. That'll be on Tuesday. And if you're interested in any of my Class in a Box um, series for this month, just message me and I'll send you the details. Thank you so much for joining me today. Stay safe and well. I hope you all have a good day. And um, just take care and I hope you can keep crafting. Thanks very much for spending time with me today. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.